Well, hello again. This is Mistaken Ford, and I wanted to continue uh, my discussion, uh, my talk on speciation. And so we're going to talk about the different types of speciation. On the previous video, we looked at reproductive isolation, how different uh, populations could be isolated from one another in in the different stages of speciation. But now we're going to talk about two different common, or um, sorry, two classically defined types of speciation. Uh, one of these would be called um, allopatric speciation. Uh, allo, um, you want to think other, and then patric like patriotic. So this would be like a country. So this is, allopatric really just means other country from another country. Now the idea behind this, allopatric speciation, if you wanted a key word to focus on, it's when the populations become separated. And as they become separated, remember, reproductive isolation is the key to speciation. So if they're separated, they are just not going to be able to breed. Um, in our previous video where we looked at the levels of reproductive isolation, um, this would probably just be the closest to habitats, uh, where they're just not close to each other. They're just not able to, to come together to mate. Now, the idea behind the allopatric speciation and, of course, reproductive isolation, you know, if you have these groups of individuals, and so my little X's here represent animals or plants or whatever you want to think about, animals might be a little bit more intuitive. Um, if you have uh, maybe, um, if you have, for instance, um, an earthquake or, or a flood, and suddenly uh, that, that flood causes a river to diverge. Well, if you've got this rather substantial change in the water that separates these two populations, um, if they're not able to come together and share genes with each other, well, that's going to affect the gene flow. So if they can't share genes, back and forth, if that's not happening, then we have reproductive isolation. Now, if you keep thinking of and thinking and thinking, okay, if this is piling up over time, what can happen is the mutations that these populations have are going to be different. So over here, you might have, oh, okay, well, maybe they turned into X's, red X's, um, and then over here, well, now maybe these guys are turning into, you know, um, oh, let's not use this. Let's not use the same color here. Uh, maybe these guys are turning into green, uh, whatever those are, <laughs> triangles, I guess. And so because they're accumulating different mutations, if we had another flood, and as this, um, and as that. Ha um, flood happens, the, the course of the river changes again, uh, so we can even have uh, more fun with this. So here's, you know, oh, the river changes over here now. Well, now we've established that these populations come back together. But if the mutations accumulated cause them to be different enough, and again, you can go back to what we did in the previous video, if they now have different courtship behaviors, if the mutations are such that, yes, they could try to mate, but the sperm and the egg just can't get to each other. Um, or uh, they come out of, they, they start courting at different times. Uh, all of these things could then cause them to, even when they're back together, they're not going to be able to, to mate. So allopatric speciation is really, is, is something is preventing them, something is, is separating them couple of really good examples. You could have a big lake that dries up, and as it dries up, it turns into two separate ponds. Uh, we actually saw that in the stickleback uh, video we watched about a month ago, where uh, one population lost the spines. Uh, and we see that in Grand Canyon here, or um, in canyons, where on one side, you could have just enough differences that the two populations are now different species. Here, are, here we have two little ground squirrels. Um, we're going to watch a, um, a video and talk about salamanders, the, the ring species and salamanders, that because they've been separated, 
um, they're not they're not reproducing. There's the absence of gene flow, and so the populations accumulate different mutations. Um, so those are three examples. So there's kind of two parts of the equation here: separation, and then time where the mutations accumulate, and then that that causes the populations to be too different uh, to mate. Sympatric, well, well, we'll talk about this in class. Sympatric speciation would be the same country. Now, there's a couple of different ways this can happen. One is through the genetic changes. Um, and so a lot of times this happens during meiosis. Uh, one of the easiest, or, or at least the most visually obvious, autoploidy, where you duplicate the chromosomes, but then there's a malfunction in separating. So immediately, in this case, you now have either a doubling or even a, a, a tetraploid, where you now have double or four times as many um, uh, genes in, in that cell. Well, if that's the case, it will never be able to mate with its parent uh, uh, species because when they come together, one of the gametes will have twice as many chromosomes as the other. So this immediately causes a new species. We do see this with plants, um, are one of the most obvious uh, uh, cases of these. Allopolyploid would be if um, two different species come together. So for instance, in this case, you could have species A and species B um, actually fuse together. Uh, now at that point, it's sterile. So this point, you know, this, this can't, because it's just got an odd number of these chromosomes, it's not going to be able to undergo meiosis. Um, however, if you were to get another uh, gamete from species B to fuse, lo and behold, and you just have to count the chromosomes up if you don't believe me, you can go back and count everything up. So we have our hybrid, that's sterile, and that's partly because, you know, we don't have these homologous chromosomes here, but then you could have another gamete fuse, and lo and behold, you now have a hybrid that now has an equal number of chromosomes and can undergo meiosis. And uh, if that happens, again, it cannot, it cannot go back and breed with A or B reproductive reproductively isolated <coughs> and if that happens um, you now have a new species and we've seen this again with plants this one you can imagine is a little odder it's not going to be as common uh, but we've actually seen this with some of the plants that we cultivate um, now that happens with the genetics. Um, some of these things, now remember, this is happening in, oops, sorry, sympatric speciation is happening where the organisms are, are able to be with one another. In allopatric, they were separated. In sympatric, they're not. So why would we have isolation? Well, this goes back to our either habitat differentiation. Um, anole lizards are a great example of this where so the anole, they, they like to, um, they find their different niches. They find whether, e whether or not it's the canopy or the ground or the shrubs. And if that's where they feed, if that's where they live, then they're not going to go wandering about. The canopy ones aren't going to go down to the ground to mate, and nor, nor vice versa. So um, they could choose different habitats. Um, they could find the food. Uh, and as they live there, they're not interacting with the other members. And then you could have different mutations piling up. Um, the other one are, we've already mentioned is the sexual selection or the mate choice. Courtship, uh, courtship displays. Females are going to make the choice. If she's choosing uh, those uh, uh, male birds with red feathers, and that's her choice, and she's not going to be mating with the birds with the blue feathers, well, that's going to cause isolation because the different gametes, the gene flow is not happening. Uh, so those male feather, the male birds with the blue feathers aren't reproducing, and that's going to be preventing gene flow from them. So 
sexual selection, female mate choice, courtship behaviors, um, even coloration, right? In, in fish, in, in, um, in, in, in coral reefs, fish that have different uh, colors oftentimes can then lead to um, the females choosing and then only mating with certain kinds and then that causes isolation as well. Uh, so those are the two different uh, forms of speciation. Uh, I hope that helps and we will uh, finish chapter 24 um, in class. Thank you, have a good night.